Hey, what's going on guys? In this video I'd like to share a little challenge that I've encountered in the last couple of days at my uh, daily Upwork contract that I've got thanks to one of my YouTube videos, by the way. So, it's all about scraping right move, but it's a trivial part, and now let's go to the challenging part. So, let me just quickly invoke my developer tools in order to explain uh, what is uh, what is actually the challenge there. So, if we just quickly invoke this developer tool. So uh, my client wants to input either city name or UK postcode first. So let's consider like somewhat a UK postcode. And as you can see here in the network tab, uh, it brings some sort of, uh, it brings uh, some sort, sort of, of response from the particular URL endpoint and if we just have a look there here we have a list of uh, location identifiers and the corresponding basically city names that mm, are mapped to this right move specific code so uh, this kind of codes are right move specific so it's probably the only place where one can encounter them ever but without these kind of codes, one uh, can't really uh, specify the URL dynamically to scrape data from. So this is really needed to create URL dynamically and then uh, just fetch the data from that URL just to scrape the data. So it's uh, one of the cases. So when we just uh, add in this kind of uh, postcode and let's say if, if we are typing a city name here, uh, it's basically almost kind of like the same. Have a look at how the URL is done basically. So let's go here and here we see like uh, all stuff regarding London. So London, London Bridge Station and blah 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 and so on and so on. And if I just go to this elements and try to inspect element, there is uh, one little cute thing here. So let's consider Let's consider London one more time and see here at location identifiers. So if I just click London, suddenly here uh, appears the location. So 87490. So here it is basically 87490. Uh, okay, here it is. So if it's just the London, if say I would pick up uh, somewhat like uh, London City Island then 94316 and so on so just 93 okay for some reason is that hold on a sec 94 94 okay i'm sorry 94 and so on so here is the, the london city island and so on so here is the here is the api that is used by right move itself in order to obtain this kind of uh, location identifiers and let's move uh, a little bit further on so say I just want this kind of location here and then also we can specify the search radius price range price range and all the stuff so you see uh, like uh, here uh, the location identifier string query parameter has already been specified it's encoded bit, so hence uh, it like a little bit different. So the identifier itself actually this one, and these guys are just encoded characters. So and if we just click the find properties here, it will give the list. And now have a look that we have like uh, radius, mean price, max price, and all this stuff. Well, providing uh, selectors for this kind of string query parameters were basically pretty trivial for me like for, for whatever web developer it would have been pretty trivial so you just mimic what they've done at right move and that's kind of it just making the post request i mean i mean the get request to this url endpoint that's kind of it but uh mapping the real uh addresses to somewhat right move specific codes is a real challenge so let me just uh, show you, uh, let me, let's me let quickly write a code snippet that I have basically used in this project in order to map uh, either uh, city names or uh, UK postcodes to this right most specific locations. So just in order to obtain this kind of links to scrape properties from dynamically. So 
that's uh, first import requests, so same port requests, and well, this is basically it. So let's create the response object equals to requests dot get, and here we'll specify the URL endpoint itself. So I just copy this one. Okay, so URL equals so let's go let's go call this code URL basically. So it equals this kind of stuff and uh, well as far as this environment doesn't uh, allow us to have a user input so we just specify the postcode variable uh, to be well let, let's just specify this as uh, input so okay it's a keyword in Python okay let, let's have a postcode okay postcode equals this one say cr06ty and let's also specify the city uh, let's say this would be uh, London okay and okay sorry for this so now we now actually before ever proceeding here we need uh, to look well, either, well, okay, just, let's just have a post, let's, mm, okay, just call this, you, you, okay, user input, oh my god, user input, yeah, it's the, the, the hardest in programming tutorials is actually to find the right, right names for the variables. Okay, and now we need simply just to loop over the characters in this user input string. So I can simply say for character in user input. And, well, so first let's actually try to print our characters. So just to see what we got there, okay. Okay, so we also don't need to run requests at the moment. Okay, so here are our characters. Now let's have a look at how they uh, kind of map the city name to mm, somewhat uh, a URL API endpoint. So it uses uppercases and makes slashes every time, every time uh, two letters has been passed and also one one more thing so if you just specify this is cr and slash zero and actually uh, then there, there goes just a space and the space is, is encoded as percentage sign and 20 and then actually 6 q i'm sorry 6 q slash g and here we get the response so uh, now we need actually to map this code to fit this URL, uh, this uh, API endpoint. So in order to do that, let's uh, create a count variable that would be equal to zero. And here we can simply say if count is equal to two, well in this case uh, we want to say code, uh, code URL plus equals and then the slash here and also we want to re that re reset our count so count equals to zero and what else and let's actually try to print print our code URL here Okay, and of course we need to append the character to our code URL. So we can simply say code URL plus equals our character. So okay. Well, of course we need to uh, increment our count as well. So count plus equals one. Let's see this one more time. Okay, so now we see like the URL uh, has been generated, so six, not the ty, but the qg, sorry for this. 
Okay. Six QG. Okay, and now basically we can use this code URL to actually fetch some data out of that. So we just don't need to print this stuff anymore. Okay. And now let's also import JSON here. So I just say request get code URL dot JSON and we want to print JSON dot dumps and response and indentation equals to two spaces. So here it is basically. So from now on we can obtain uh, basically all the names for uh, that regards this particular postcode and then also we can just extract this kind of uh, right most specific codes. Well of course I just I just did return uh, this kind of array to JavaScript and then just within the JavaScript I did append the drop-down list with these display names and respectively I did specify uh, the location identifier input field with this kind of corresponding right most specific value so that's kind of how I did manage actually to generate this like this like link dynamically so after uh, after the user basically did input uh, the either this code postcode or city let me just show you how it works with the city so let's consider the London and also by the way I need just to convert this to upper case to make to make it work with the city names so here is the data regarding uh, the London so you see like London London City Island London Br London Bridge Station East Fields London Fields East London and so on so this is kind of it well, okay guys, I have no idea whether it was actually interesting for you or not, but I just wanted to show you this little picture of me uh, working hard on my project, basically. So, you know, like, it seems really easy now, but the last two days I spent for mostly for researching how to actually implement this, this stuff and if this is actually possible or not. So, I wasn't really quite pretty sure and until, until now, basically. So... Well, I hope at least you had fun during watching this video, so until next time, and take care.